All right, it's Friday. It is Friday. It's it is a it is a Friday's Friday. I'm excited about this Friday. <laughs> it's I'm been excited. a really good week. It's, it is it is Alabama Tennessee Friday. Oh, like it's, gosh. The, it's the day before one of the biggest rivalries in all of sports, Alabama versus Tennessee. And uh, yeah, let's go, let's go, roll tide. That might not that might not <laughs> age sure. well. That might not age well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I have a question for you. Yeah. I. Don't think I've ever asked this before. I don't think any of us have ever asked this question before. But <laughs> the other day, you were on a call mm. and you're down the hall from me. The door was closed. And let's just say you were very, very passionate. Whatever you were talking about, <laughs> you were very passionate about. There was some yelling coming out of your, your uh, four walls. I, know, I think I know what you're talking about. What was it? What was going on? All right, all right. So let's start by saying that I am I am pro salesperson, pro sales professional. I I I am all about sales professionals, and I was a sales professional. I understand the plights of being a sales professional. Um, but I was on a call, and somebody said to me, a salesperson said to me, he said, "Chad, listen, I'm I'm in. I'm all about being you know closing sales and getting deals and all this stuff. But you know, isn't it really the responsibility of the builder?" to drive the traffic. Like they bring the traffic and I close it. And that basically is like, for me, it's basically like kicking my grandmother in her knee. Like, it's like, like it is like, don't do this. Just like, don't even think this. Like this is egregious to think. And I'm probably going to upset some salespeople here. But if, if you're, if you're a sales professional, you're doing so because you have this entrepreneur mindset. Like you want the financial upside. You want the freedom. You want the autonomy that we get sitting in model homes or sitting in our sales centers. You want creativity. You want all the things. Like you don't sacrifice what we sacrifice to have a 100% commission job or a near 100% commission job for any other reason than you want the financial upside and because you love what you do. Sitting in a sales center sitting in a model home waiting for traffic to be delivered to you is about as far away from that as you can get. Like it, the two don't work. Entrepreneurs don't think, let me just sit and wait until while somebody else delivers me traffic. And I think it's gotten, I think it's gotten really way out of hand. And if, and if, and this upsets you, if this video upsets you, then you're probably the one that's waiting for somebody else to feed you. And that mindset just is not going to get you where you need to go. And I don't understand. I I do understand how builders can get so upset about this because we hire these like unbelievable like go getter hunters. Go get the go hunt for the trap. Go hunt for the for the meal. Get the meal. Kill the meal. Like oh that's what we want. We want hunters. And what we've got are are not hunters, we've got consumers and consumers of the food. And what I mean is like, we want somebody else to like go get the groceries and it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I'm so passionate about this because if people understood, if salespeople understood how much they're limiting themselves by waiting for somebody else to make them successful. And think about that. Think about like you're, you're feeding your family with this, these commissions and these sales. You have to pay your mortgage. You have to pay your bills. You got to put you know it's money to send your kids to college or maybe to to, to turn to even turn the lights on, keep the lights on. And you're putting that in the hands of somebody else. And we have unbelievable marketing departments in these builders. Like some of these builders, their marketing departments are unbelievable, just unbelievable. With that being said, I will not trust them, and do not trust them with my entire life's well being. And so I don't think it's a conscious thing. I think that the way the way that this has evolved is the market was years ago was really really good, and we didn't have to do a lot of outbound prospecting the salespeople because we were getting a ton of traffic at a door and it was good traffic and they would just qualify and close and 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 listen any any salesperson in their right mind would have taken that like yeah I'll take that all day, but we picked up habits that no longer work in this market. And but we're sitting there and we're waiting for the market to come back to us, like a boomerang. Oh, it was really good. And it's gonna boomerang back, and I'll just sit and wait. It's not coming back. Let me let me just make this clear. It's not coming back anytime soon. Not like it was. So we either have to change our behaviors, or we have to change our lifestyle. And we can't expect builders. We can't expect our employers 
to sit around and wait for us, wait for the market to come back. We have to go get it. And I think this is what separates the top 1%. And and I'm saying this because I care. I'm saying this because I see it. If you have a kind of hustler, go-getter mentality where you are going to go out, you're going to get these interest lists, you're going to get the, you're going to go back into the CRM, you're going to do the realtor visits, you're going to do the broker outreach, you're going to do the whatever, and you're going to go out there and hustle, you will create so much market share right now because nobody else is doing that. 90% of salespeople are sitting waiting for the builders to make them successful. Rule number two of selling. Number rule number one, rule number one, make it easy for the customer to buy. Rule number two, don't ever allow anything or anybody to sell for you. That includes your marketing department. That includes your builder. You go get what you want. And if you are not willing to, don't want to go get what you want, then I would not expect for builders to keep investing in you. That's my and 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 if you think the grass is going to be greener on another side, like some other builder is going to provide you with all the traffic, and you can just sit in the model home or in your sales center and 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 watch Netflix until somebody comes in waving a check, you're going to starve. If that pisses you off, if that upsets you, if that makes you lose credibility in what I'm saying, you're probably one of the people that's waiting for somebody else to make you successful. Stop waiting. Stop waiting for other people to make you successful and go do what it takes to become successful. That's what I was yelling at.